let's simplify this without the use of a calculator so to do this the first thing we need to do is let's simplify this 108 and simplify it one as well now when you have 108 let's simplify this using the simplest method 2 we divide this to give us 54 2 we divide this to give us 27 3 we divide to give us 9 3 we divide to give us 3 3 we divide to give us 1 so notice that 108 can be expressed as 2 times 2 is 4 that is root 4 multiplied by 3 times 3 is 9 root 9 multiplied by root 3 Okay, now similarly, root 81 is easy. 81 is 9 multiplied by 9, right? So that means we can write 81 as root 9 multiplied by root 9. Okay, let's go back to this and um, write it like that. So we are going to replace root 108 with this. So we have root 4 multiplied by root 9 multiplied by root 3. That is it for this. Plus, this one will be root 9 multiplied by root 9. Okay? 9 times 9 is still 81. Divided by the same thing here. Root 4 multiplied by root 9 multiplied by root 3. Minus, this is root 9 multiplied by root 9 as well. Okay? So, we solve this further. If we do that, we will have um, root 4 will give us 2 multiplied by root 9 will give us 3 and we have root 3 here right root 3 all right plus now this will give us 3 multiplied by 3 as well 3 multiplied by 3 okay divided by the same thing this will give us 2 multiplied by 3 root 3 minus 3 multiplied by 3 okay so what we are going to do now let's look out for common factors so this and this, what they have in common, you can see, is 3. So we bring that out. When this is divided by 3, 2 root 3 will remain. Okay, plus when this is divided by this, 1, 3 will remain. Divided by, this is just for this, sorry. Okay, now divided by, the same thing will happen here. We bring out 3, we have 2 root 3 minus 3, okay? So 3 we divide itself, we have 1. So what we now have left is 2 root 3 plus 3 divided by 2 root 3 minus 3. Okay, so let us rationalize. Now, to rationalize, we need the conjugate of our denominator. And the conjugate of our denominator is 2 root 3 plus 3. So we are going to multiply our numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of our denominator. So we are going to multiply this by 2 root 3 plus 3 divided by 2 root 3 plus 3 as well. So if we look, what we have here is 2 root 3 plus 3 squared, right? This times itself is same thing as 2 root 3 plus 3 squared divided by what we have here is 2 root 3 minus 3 multiplied by 2 root 3 plus 3, okay? If this is the first time you are seeing us, click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Yes, we upload daily at least three times in a day. Mm. So, tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. Thank you very much. And give us a thumbs up if this is actually, if you're actually enjoying this video. Now, look at what we have. We have A plus B squared for our numerator. Remember that A plus B squared is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Now, what we have in denominator is difference of two squares. The one that says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now, when you look at them, you see that we have the same thing here. That means our a is 2 root 3 and our b is 3, right? So, we can now express the numerator as a squared, that is 2 root 3 squared, okay? Plus 2ab, 2 multiplied by 2 root 3 multiplied by our b is 3. Then plus b squared, that is 3 squared. Everything divided by, for the denominator, we are going to reduce it to a squared minus b squared. That is 2 root 3 squared minus 3 squared. So we have 2 root 3 squared minus 3 squared, okay? So this implies that 2 squared will give us 4, root 3 squared will give us 3, right? So we have 4 times 3 here, plus 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, we have 12 root 3, 
plus 3 squared is 9 divided by 2 squared is 4 multiplied by root 3 squared is 3 minus 3 squared is 9. I hope you are enjoying this video. Yes, because I am. So what we have is 4 multiplied by 3 will give us 12. So we have 12 plus 12 root 3 plus 9. Everything divided by 12 minus 9. I don't want to continue from here so that I don't cut some things off. Oh, I've cleaned the main question. Okay, so this is minus root 81. Now let's continue. So we have 12 plus 9, sorry. 12 plus 9 will give us 21, right? So we have 21 plus 12 root 3 divided by 12 minus 9 will give us 3. Now, since this denominator is a common factor for this and this, let's factorize it out here so that we can cancel them out and have something simpler as our final solution. So it's going to be what they have in common is 3. So let's bring out 3 from here. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay. Now divided by this 3. All right. Now 3 will divide itself. And we have 1. 1 times this will give us 7 plus 4 root 3. So this is the final answer without a calculator. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.